Hello fellow prospects and absolvers, this is Ultra U Snake and this is my cult guide. The main reason I decided to make this guide was that after searching YouTube I couldn't find any guide for the cult method. So there you go, this is my attempt. I don't have a lot of PvP experience however, so you might want to take this with a grain of salt. I want to start by talking about why you should pick the cult method. The game describes it as the easiest one, and in a way it is. The absorbability is easy to connect. So from a technical standpoint, the style is easy. The hard part comes after the absorbability. You land it, and then what? You're usually still in trouble, unlike with the Windfall and the Forsaken styles. The Avoid and the parry abilities, respectively, are hard to use, but once you use them, you're usually out of trouble and you can counter immediately. The absorbability is quite different, however. Using it is easy, what comes after it is quite hard. What you do after absorbing is one of the things that makes the cult method what I'd like to call the most tactical style. The other element that makes it tactical is that there are some incentives to use heavy armor. Heavy armor slows your stamina regen quite a bit. And that means that you need to take some breaks, like take a back step and walk back for a while to recover your stamina quite slowly. But Another thing that makes you want to take fight slowly as a call is that your absorbability allows you to heal the damage you absorb over time. So since you need to wait for the healing, you might as well wait for your stamina recovery. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Therefore what I did was picking the armor that gave me most blunt protection. Not many people use weapons in BVP, so blunt is all you need most of the time. That resulted in a pretty low mobility that says 15, normal, at the bottom left corner. It means my stamina recovers quite slowly. It also means that some of my attacks deal less damage. The way your attributes influence your damage is quite similar to Dark Souls except instead of each weapon having its own scaling, in Absolver, each attack has its own scaling. You can see here that I picked attacks that mostly have scaling with strength. You can see the Lightbreaker has a scaling of S with strength, whereas the Jab actually scales quite a bit with mobility, B. And that means I'm wasting quite a lot of damage on the Jab, if you pick mostly moves that scale with strength, and not many that scale with mobility and dexterity, that means that you will be able to pretty much ignore dexterity as an attribute, and focus on strength to improve your damage, but most of all, I suggest beefy endurance. That's because you need to counter the fact that your stamina regen is pretty slow. Also go high in vitality, but it doesn't need to be as high as endurance. That's because you already have a lot of armor to protect you. After these two stats are high enough, you can go for strength in order to improve your damage in a very, very efficient way. Stay tuned for part 2 guys, where we'll talk mostly about Absorb.